my father had an episode of encephalitis. It affected mainly the language part of his brain. I was very fascinated by the process of that uh, destruction that had happened uh, to his brain and then the reconstruction and regrowth. I found it to be an area that I really wanted to explore further. I felt a little bit separated from his whole illness and healing process. I wanted to feel more connected to what was going on with him. He really wanted to improve his language as much as possible, as quickly as possible. The conversations that we had on the phone provided a kind of uh, jumping off point for this piece. The title of this piece is Wider Than the Sky, which is taken from an Emily Dickinson poem. To me, the poem reflects on the idea of how the brain is such a small object in and of itself, but it can contain such a vastness that is almost beyond our comprehension. The materials that I work with are pretty simple and lowly in a way. Pipe cleaners and yarn and thread and pins. They're very lightweight craft materials. How you can make a monumental piece with such low materials is part of what I've been after for the 12 years that I've been doing it. Because of the fact that the piece deals with this loss of language with my dad. He could only speak a few words. For instance, rice would be any object, and South Carolina would be any place. Another thing that's different about Wider Than the Sky is the fact that this space is such a perfect monumental diorama, in a sense. It's this wonderful large window box, in a way. I'm very excited about having this sort of containment within the piece that's a little bit different than some of my other pieces where you are walking into a room and being completely surrounded by it. You will be able to walk up to the piece and stand underneath it, but you'll be able to see it very pictorially. That kind of boundary around the piece is a new direction that I would love to pursue in the future. My father's doing much, much better. Um, if you just met him, you wouldn't think there was anything wrong at all. I think I'll continually be interested in brain imagery and other systems like that. And, and this new interest in, in text and language, I'm not sure where that's gonna go, but I could see me doing something else um, in the future with that.